Hello! And welcome! That was way over the top. <laughs> Hi! Welcome to another episode of Big Jiggly Questions, which is, like, my Q&A series. One of you guys suggested that title, and I thought it was just hilarious, so we stuck with it. So, uh, I of course have more questions to answer. That's the whole point of the video. It's hopefully why you're watching. Maybe it's the spazzy shirt, or that cute panda, or that poster. Oh, fuck that. That poster. <laughs> The Attack on Titan one, you guys always comment about that one and stuff, so... Maybe it's my fan that keeps me cool. Whatever the reason you're watching, I hope you enjoy, so... Um, I'm gonna get into the first question. It's from Mackenzie. She says... Ask Panda. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I will see you next time. Bye! Okay, <laughs> actual questions this time. Um, Unholy Unicorn wants to know what conventions will I be attending? This year, uh, I mean, I already have attended PAX East, MegaCon, MegaCon Fan Days. Um, I think that's it. But I'm also going to MegaCon Tampa on the 28th or 29th. I'm going on Saturday, that's it. Um, and then in Orlando later this year is Holiday Matsuri, uh, and Steve Bloom is gonna be there, who, if you don't know who that is, is the guy that voiced, uh, Spike from Cowboy Bebop, Tom from Toonami, uh, every other character that you can think of, <laughs> I mean, the, guy, the guy's been in everything, so, uh, I'm really excited for that. Uh, as far as next year, uh, PAX East for sure, there's another convention going on in Baltimore, I can't remember the name of it right now, but I'm sure once I review the video and edit it, I'll put it up in the screen right here, the name of that convention, so. <laughs> uh, other than that, I would like to go to E3, but it's not a guarantee. That was a rhyme. Uh, I mean, I, whatever cons come up that I'm able to go to, I probably will go to. Uh, I like the Comic Cons. I was supposed to go to New York Comic Con this year, but missed out, so. Maybe next year I can go to San Diego. That'd be cool. Fingers crossed, so. Uh, maybe I'll see you guys at a couple of those cons. Let me know if you're going, we can do fan meetups or whatever, so. Yeah. Alright, Devin asked me this question, and I get this one all the time. And that's not a bad thing, or... Yeah, it's just not... I'm just curious as to why you guys think so. Maybe let me know if you're the one of the people that's thought so. But Devin asks, are you gay? No? Surprise if you <laughs> thought so! <laughs> um, I'm not gay. Uh... I, like, again, I'm not sure why I get that question all the time. Maybe you guys are just curious. Uh, I don't... Yeah, I'm just... I don't get it. Like I said, not a bad thing. If you guys are asking because you're interested, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, I appreciate it, but uh, I do have a girlfriend. I am... I'm straight, so... Uh, yeah. I do get that a lot, though. You'd be surprised. Almost every video I get a comment asking if I'm gay, so... What makes you think so? Uh, yeah. Next question. <laughs> King of tryhards, or I slap shit kids. Good job. Wants to know, did you get picked on for being fat at school? Yeah, honestly. Um, I actually was bullied pretty heavily. Not all of my years in school. Uh, but I went to private school from kindergarten through sixth grade. And I got picked on a lot. Uh, honestly. Um, it wasn't as bad as I'm sure some people go through, but... Uh, I often got teased and picked on for having glasses, because I used to wear glasses. Uh, for being fat, um, just everything you can think of. I mean, kids are kids, you know how they go. They're they're mean, they're nasty, they say shit sometimes without even really realizing the consequences, so... Uh, I didn't really get physically bullied too hard. Uh, it did happen, but it wasn't too much, but... Uh, yeah, and honestly, you know what? I think being bullied is what made me have the sense of humor that I do, which is like, really just... I have such humility, <laughs> I guess is the word I'm looking for. I don't really get offended much or take things, like, in a way that people are, like, attacking me. Uh, I mean, sometimes you can. Who doesn't? But, uh, yeah. So, you know, if you are getting bullied and stuff like that, guys, I know it's tough. I know it sucks. I know it's hard. Don't be afraid to talk to somebody about it. Because um, you deserve every right to. Uh, don't let it bring you down. I know it's tough, but be above it. Um, I know... Kids can be mean motherfuckers, man. Even adults can be. It's It never ends, honestly. So don't let that scare you. Uh, just, I honestly hope you guys, if you do get bullied, hell, even leave a comment. I'll talk to you about it. I chit-chat with you guys in the comments all the time. 
Um, cause it's tough and you want to be able to relate to somebody because you get picked on for being different. Um, we're all different here as far as I'm concerned. Uh, I'm with you guys. Stay strong. All right. I like this question because it's, it's one of those things that every time you ask me if I did a different video a year from now, the answer is going to be different. But Dylan wants to know who's your favorite rap artist right now. And of course, Kendrick is like King right now, but I'm a huge fan of Isaiah Rashad. Um, Isaiah Rashad is from Chattanooga and the dude is got incredible flow like it's insane um and he's just got the perfect vo voice 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 he's got the perfect voice for it so uh he just came out the new album this year uh maybe i'll like link it in the description to like spotify or something but uh yeah it's good shit highly recommended <laughs> all right james wants to know anthony would you rather dip your balls in piping hot mac and cheese or get hit by Danny Shelton. If you don't know who Danny Shelton is, which I'm assuming most of you don't, because he plays for the Cleveland Browns. I root for the Browns, but I wish I didn't. They're the worst team in the NFL. So <laughs> uh, I'll put up a picture of Danny Shelton so you're gonna get an idea of how fucking humongous this man is. And then maybe over here I'll put up a picture of a piping hot bowl of mac and cheese. And uh, we'll make the decision based off that. So would I wanna get hit by Danny Shelton? If I had pads on, sure. Because I don't think I ever want to dip my balls in piping hot mac and cheese. Not because I don't like mac and cheese. I fucking love mac and cheese. I just don't know if I want it extremely, extremely hot on my scrotum. I mean, I'm sure you can understand why. I hope you do. If it was like room temperature or had been out of the pot and sitting there for five minutes, hot mac and cheese, or get hit by Danny Shelton, then I would probably dip my balls in the pasta. Because it's not as hot, it won't hurt as bad. If anything, it might be all comfortable. Who doesn't like a noodle bath for your, your stuff? Okay, next question. Archer Stan wants to know, uh, if I used to be neighbors with Delirious, IRL, not asking what he looks like, just wants to know if that's true. Where do you guys come up with this stuff? <laughs> Um, no. I mean, if I have been neighbors with Delirious, I am totally unaware of it. Like, I have zero clue. Uh, because I still, to this day, do not know Delirious on a level of, like, his face. I don't... I don't know who he is. <laughs> the mystery is with me as well, so... Um, could we have been neighbors? Possibly. But I seriously doubt it. I don't think we've ever even lived in the same state, so... That's a funky rumor. Is there like an entertainment weekly with like celebrity gossip and shit for YouTube? Is that where like these these rumors come from? That's a good one. I actually like that one. What other what other things have you guys heard? I'm curious. Comment below if you've heard some weird rumors. <laughs> I'm curious. Get all that beef. <laughs> uh no. I no. I did not live next to Delirious. No, sorry. Pyro Elephant asks, which one of you is Tyler? And which one of these is you? You guys ready? Here you go. <laughs> now, our opinions might be different, but I'm feeling like more of Mario in this situation. <laughs> and I really don't know why. Um, maybe it's just the look on his face reminds me of something that I would do. Or maybe it's because I know that would bother Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna pick Mario. I'm sure you guys can come up with reasons for why I'm right and wrong in this situation based off your fandom or whatever. <laughs> so let me know what you think about that. Look at that ass though. That's me. That is me. That booty clapping. I'm so stupid. Miles, whose picture is a panda and I like that wants to know a movie that i think is really really underrated um and i already knew immediately as soon as i read this question what movie i was gonna say it is called the jacket it's got adrian brody and kira knightley in it and it's a little weird but it's really really good and of course that's a matter of opinion so if you didn't like the movie don't flame me in the comments below because you think your opinion's better just let it go <laughs> But uh, it's a movie about a soldier who comes home after an accident and uh, weird stuff happens and he's able to kind of right his wrongs, I guess you could say. Um, 
it's really, really interesting. Um, and it's... I really don't know how to describe it. It's it's heartwarming at times, at other times it's really just really tugs on the emotions. But uh, I love Adrian Brody. I think he's a fantastic actor. Uh, his roles as of late have been so great. Probably not his fault. Could be his manager. Who the hell knows? But <laughs> it's it's really great. It's worth your time. I think it's like two hours. If you don't like it, you don't like it. But I bet you it's better than Suicide Squad. All right, Nintendo guy Eric wants to know what are my best and worst childhood memories. My worst childhood memory is gonna be like when my grandfather passed away. It's been a long time. <laughs> it was, I was, it, it's, I think it was like 19 or 20 years ago now. So it's been quite a while, but he was like my best friend growing up. My grandpa and I were extremely just beyond close. We were best friends. Uh, we did everything together. So when he passed away, it was like a really hard on me. I just, I struggled with it for years, honestly. Um, it really messed me up as a kid because you didn't really understand. I mean, at seven, eight years old or however old I was, I really don't remember. I want to say I was eight. I just didn't fully grasp death and loss like that. I mean, at eight years old, you don't, I hope you don't. And if you do, I'm sorry because it means you've probably been through a lot, but um, it was tough. So uh, that was hands down like the worst. I mean, not nothing else really happened to me that was that bad at all. Uh, but that was, that was a stinker for sure. Uh, my best childhood memory? Man, that's, you know, that's tough, but I really want to say, and this is going to be a little bit older than childhood, I want to say it's like early teen years, uh, was when I left private school and, and went to public school into high school, so when I was like 13 or so, is really when I started meeting a lot of the friends that <clears throat> I still talk to today, so we're talking 10 years ago, um, 10, 12 years ago, I started meeting these people and am still really, really close with them. Uh, I actually just got back from visiting back home and hanging out a lot with uh, with the people that I spent a lot of time with years ago when I lived there. So I wouldn't trade any of that for the world. I mean, of course, I had good memories of like birthdays and stuff like that, but long lasting good memories. That was probably my favorite um, meeting all of my friends. I'm going to get this name wrong. I'm sorry, but Utora asks Panda do this if you can do this. Here's her example. All right, Cassandra wants to know, if your life was turned into a movie, what actor do you think would play you? Now, reasonably, <laughs> uh, they probably would pick someone with a really low budget. <laughs> um, so, probably no one that we would have ever heard of. Honestly. Which sucks. But that's okay. Because in this question, I get to choose, because it's my fucking video. <laughs> um... Honestly, you know, I had to think about this a little bit. I had to stop recording and do some research because I was like, who do I think would work? And I didn't pick my choice based off looks, but more off what I like out of someone close to my age uh, as far as acting and like, I just think it would work out. I think it would be funny. Uh, I chose Paul Dano, who, if you don't know who that is, is the older brother in Little Miss Sunshine. Uh, he was also in Prisoners. And recently in a movie with Daniel Radcliffe called Swiss Army Man or Swiss Army Men. I don't remember. Don't quote me on that one. Um, he's been in other stuff too. Like he was in Looper and things like that. But uh, I just love him. Oh, there will be blood. I'm sorry. That was the one I forgot. <laughs> uh, I just really love him as an actor. Uh, I think he's like sort of overlooked and underappreciated. He actually might have been in The Revenant too. As I keep talking, I'm just going to keep saying words. <laughs> Uh, but I don't remember if he was in The Revenant. I might have been thinking of someone else, but... Uh, I just... I don't know. I'm a, I'm a fan of him. He's a he's an awkward, goofy dude, and kind of reminds me a little bit of maybe... Similar pasts. I mean, I doubt it. He's a movie star. I'm not. <laughs> uh, but maybe. We'll see. So, uh, yeah, we'll pick Paul Dano. Realistically, they probably would make it a comedy and cast like Jonah Hill or some shit like that. Which... Fuck it. That'd be cool, right? If they made a movie with me and it starred Nick Cage and Keanu Reeves and it was called Battle of the Emotions and it was about my life, I'd be like, who gives a fuck? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we'll go, we're, uh, yeah, we'll go with that. So, I like that question. That was a good one. Thanks, Cassandra. So, that is going to conclude everything for today. I hope you guys liked it. Uh, I always look forward to good questions, whether they be goofy or just 
hilarious or even serious ones. I, I, I answered a couple serious ones too, so I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you like the series, I'll try to make it more regular thing. Uh, I try to do one every once in a while because we have more people coming in all the time, so peace.